Leonardo da Vinci is one of the most gifted and inventive men in history, a mathematician, engineer, sculptor, scientist and one of the best painters of all time. His Last Supper and Mona Lisa are one of the most popular and influential masterpieces. He was a genius who was born out of curiosity and unlimited desire for knowledge. His notebooks reveal that he was centuries ahead of his time. His inventions, journals, ideas changed the world. Many people don't know that Leonardo da Vinci struggled most of his life. Can you believe that he considered himself a loser, someone who had failed in life? Like me and you, he faced rejection, failure and self-doubt. This is the success story of Leonardo da Vinci, the great procrastinator who changed the world. Leonardo da Vinci was born in 1452 in a village near Florence. His father was a notary and his mother was a local peasant. He was an illegitimate child. The interesting thing is, Leonardo da Vinci, one of the most gifted and inventive men in history, never had any kind of formal education, no degree in any field. He did receive some basic instructions at home in subjects such as reading, writing and math, but his incredible knowledge was a result of spending his time outside, observing and studying the nature itself. His way of thinking was born from his curiosity and his unlimited desire for knowledge. At the age of 15, Leonardo da Vinci became a trainee under the famous sculptor and painter Andrea del Verrocchio. Around this time began his lifelong obsession with the human body. There he received training in painting, sculpture and mechanical arts, and this helped his incredible imagination, which led to the birth of his amazing inventions. But Leonardo da Vinci became known for being unable to finish a task. And as a freelancer, that is not a good quality. One time he was hired by monks to create an altarpiece called Adoration of the Magi. In his initial sketch we can see that there are so many details. To say this painting was ambitious is an understatement. A complicated piece paired with Leonardo's perfectionism, it's not a surprise why he wasn't able to finish it. He became famous for missing deadlines and not finishing the job. And that was not good for business. So now, no one would hire him. For quite some time, the only job he could get was painting dead criminals. In 1482, he moved to Milan and was hired by the Duke to create a sculpture, a bronze horse. He spent 16 years drawing, studying horses and preparing for this gig. Many years passed before the genius of Leonardo da Vinci was noticed. Today he is known as one of the best painters of all time. But did you know that he was 46 when he completed The Last Supper? Despite excelling in everything, from science to sculpture to painting, he considered himself a failure, a disappointment. He had so many interests but spent too much time planning projects and procrastinated on actually finishing his projects. Many scientists believe that Leonardo da Vinci may have suffered from ADHD. But unfortunately, it's impossible to know for sure. But one of the most common reasons for procrastinating is the fear of failure. Here is how a day of a procrastinator goes. Let's say I have a task to finish by the end of the week, and it is so overly complicated in my mind that I don't know where to start. So I don't start right away, but I only worry about how many things I have to do. I don't do anything, I just worry. Days go by and the deadline approaches. My panic, paralysis and anxiety go higher and higher. And of course, my best friend, shame. And I ask myself, why do I do this to myself? What is wrong with me? This is suffering. Procrastination is a way of coping with emotions like insecurity, self-doubt, low self-esteem. The first step to breaking the cycle of procrastination is to recognize that perfection doesn't exist. Perfection is just a hidden fear of failure. You're not perfect. No one is perfect. 
you will make mistakes and that's okay. You're human. Not everything you do has to be groundbreaking and change the world. Sometimes it's okay to lower the bar and make it as simple as possible. Take your task and break it down to the smallest pieces so it's not overwhelming for you. Set the timer for 5 minutes and work until the timer goes off. Take a break and repeat. By the end of the day you're going to have so much more self-respect and that is the biggest reward. Action will destroy your procrastination, even the smallest one. Just tie your sneakers, do one push-up, read one page before bed. And remember, while we waste our time hesitating and postponing, life is slipping away. So, what's your story?